In order to perform the individual manual muscle test for flexor digiti minimi, the patient is seated at the table with the forearm supported on the table. Uh, the hand is stabilized underneath with one hand, which also holds the other fingers out of the way in extension. The forearm is supinated and the small finger is flexed at the metacarpal phalangeal joint and extended at the interphalangeal joints, just like that. The other fingers are held relatively straight. Resistance is applied to the volar surface of the small finger proximal phalanx and the direction of resistance is into uh, extension of the metacarpal phalangeal joint. So I'm going to push right here and I'm going to try to straighten out your finger. Don't let me. Hold it right there. Hold, 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 hold. Very good. Substitutions would include uh, interphalangeal joint flexion in the small finger, wrist flexion to try to compensate, or small finger abduction to try to bring an abductor digiti minimi into the picture to help out. This um, flexor digiti minimi can be palpated right about here at the kind of ulnar volar aspect of the fifth metacarpal phalangeal joint, right in here. Um, it also kind of blends with the abductor digiti minimi there, so it can be hard to palpate at times, but that's the location.